Hey everybody, it's David Bruce, davidbrucerealty.com with EXP Realty, and we are here in Los Angeles on lockdown. Um, I attended a very interesting meeting today with uh, my state brokers and California-based real realtors in the online platform of Verbella with EXP. And um, if you don't know about EXP, we're an agent-owned cloud-based brokerage. Everything we do is online. Um, we're kind of the Amazon to, I guess, Blockbuster or the Netflix to block, the Blockbuster uh, as opposed to like brick and mortar uh, real estate agencies. And what that means is we're very heavy, heavily technology bent, uh, which helps us as realtors in our bottom line, but also in helping the consumer. If you're a realtor looking for an opportunity uh, outside of your, the traditional brokerage with excellent support, and amazing financial uh, incentives uh, reach out to me and I'd be happy to share that with you. If you are a seller, which is what this video is really about, um, I'd like to talk to you about listing a home during this COVID coronavirus uh, time. We have two listings that we just put into escrow. I put one into escrow last week and the guy fell out because he's an all cash buyer and he's heavily exposed to the markets. And as you probably know, the markets are extremely volatile right now. And so uh, fortunately, both listings were multiple off, many multiple <laughs> offers in um, and way above list price as well. So we had people to go back to and we slid somebody right back into escrow today, which is great. Um, and my biggest concern right now is making sure that I set the expectations of my sellers and I protect my sellers with um, all the kind of crazy nonsense that's going on. Because let's face it, we think we know what's going to happen, but we really don't. Um, <clears throat> that being said, I've been thinking quite a lot about how to sell a home with this stuff going on. And I have a pretty good idea of the way to market it and the way to go about selling it. So if you are a seller who's concerned about selling a home and making sure that you uh, maximize the equity that you can get out of it, uh, with as little hassle to you as possible, my phone number is below, or you can call at the end of the video, you can call me or just reach out to me through YouTube or wherever it is that you find this video. But I think that um, the traditional open house is dead. It has been dead for a long time. Statistically speaking, an open house sells a home less than 1% of the time. And I'll be happy to explain all that stuff to you if you want. I'm not going to go into detail right now, but I think that the way that I'm going to approach my business in helping people sell homes is to, number one, price it right. Always price it right. It never sells if you don't price it right. Two, market it right. Make sure your technology is driving your, your, um, your sales force, which is exactly why I joined this company a long time ago. And number three, we're not gonna do traditional open houses anymore. I don't think people wanna do it. They're a little worried to go out. And I think for the next couple of months until this whole thing blows over, uh, the way to do it is just to do VIP treatment for buyers and buyer's agents who want to bring their clients and have private showings without the sellers being there. And that's going to be the way that we're going to approach this to help calm people down. That's what we really need more than anything. No more panic buying of toilet paper and bullshit. Excuse my language. But it's time to grab this thing and kind of look at how we're going to go about selling homes in the near future. Now, three months from now, in, where are we? We're in March, April, May, June. June is when inventory usually skyrockets. So my guess is hot markets like Silicon Valley and Los Angeles and other hot markets are probably not going to list a lot of homes right now. But here's the thing. That means less competition for a seller, doesn't it? And buyer demand usually stays the same, doesn't it? So if you're thinking of listing a home, you may want to go against the grain and list it during this time so that even if nothing happens for a couple of weeks because of all this volatility, there is a very good chance that there is a buyer out there that has to buy today. There always is. There's always somebody that has to buy. They fall in love with your place because of how it's priced, how it's marketed, how it's sold. And you might want to think about capitalizing on what we do know right now. So that being said, I'd be happy to share with you the full on marketing approach that I would take with any 
property given any type of market that we're in, whether we're in this COVID scare for a little while. Um, but I, I guarantee you that the, that the number of listings are not gonna be as high uh, for the next m month or two than they typically are. So let's put a strategy together now. If you are a buyer or you're thinking about trading up or trading down, talk to me, please. I'm, there's a lot of moving parts with what's going on in this market, but my job is to make sure that I strategize and determine what's best for you, given all the crap that's going on in the world. I'm David Bruce. I care about what's going on with you. And if you wanna buy or sell real estate, I'm your guy. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Be safe with your loved ones. Hunker down. Take care.